morning and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty, day three of summer, year number four. That's right, I went to bed last night. Not before doing a few things, I went ahead and made some potters last night because our village was out of it. And I did take some limestone and got all but one vi uh, one house done. So we got one house that, uh, well, you can see around the door. Uh, that needs to be taken care of. But what I need to do today, in a way, is we're going to go up to Rolnikov for one. Uh, we're going to check on workers up there because... I have room, if I'm not mistaken, I have room for one more villager, right, to go in this house right here. Yep, simple house. And it needs to be a male because there's a female living in there right now. So, um, hopefully he is good in some crafting. Uh, I don't have really anything to sell either right now. So, I did check the storage last night. I mean, yeah, I got a scythe uh, pickaxe, uh, but pretty much nothing else to sell right now. Because we sold a lot of stuff on day one of summer, year number four. So, wait, do I got I got food on me, right? Before I head on out. I got two potters. That should be good enough for me. You know, you know what I could sell, though? Because it is summer, and I did not check this. Um, yeah, like I said, I made potters last night. That's going to be for the villagers for a little bit. I don't, I don't want to sell that, but berries. Let me grab some berries. I got 96 berries there, and I'll grab all these berries as well. They'll still be gathering berries because we got two more days of summer left. Uh, which I'll be this episode. The thing I need to get done today in this episode is I need to replant the cabbage. This field is all plowed and ready to rock and roll. How did we do on technology and farming? Well, yesterday, in uh, last episode, we were at like, what, 2,400? Now we're at 2,900. That's all from harvesting all the flax, the wheat, the cabbage, and replanting, or not replanting, but putting down the fertilizer and plowing that in. So, yeah, I got some fer uh, fertilizer. Yeah, I got fertilizer on the mine now. Uh, we, we got berries to sell, but let's go on, on over to Rolnica. Uh, we'll sell the berries, have a little chat around there, see if we got any uh, males that are interested in maybe coming to our village. Hopefully they're good in crafting so I can put them in the sewing room because we do have five mothers at the current uh, stage that we're in. The one thing that uh, I almost said we can kind of look forward to, but day one of winter this upcoming year, my wife should be done taking care of Otmar, which is my little boy. So she'll be going back to work and probably put her right into farming into the barn because the barn work has been slow. Uh, speaking of slow, I'm probably going to slow one down because I kind of forgot. I can pick berries myself. Uh, get your knife out because picking berries with a knife is a lot faster as well. Um, one thing I did, I, I noticed a couple days ago and I just decided not to do it was there is a test version of this game out right now and really it's not much to the test version other than there's a lot of sound updates to the game and also some translation to the game meaning adding extra languages so i don't know by the time you see this video uh the update may already be out i have no idea but yeah there is a beta version of this out right now it's mostly sound updates and whatnot but anyways i'm gonna pick a few berries here and then we'll go over to Rolnica and uh, see what they got for villagers that... Well, I should say non-villagers because of the villagers, I can't take them. Uh, but you know what I'm talking about. Good morning, Rolnica. How are you guys doing over here? I'm out of stamina, which means... Uh, I can't remember if it's... Nope, and I'm looking for a vendor. So I'm using my compass right now because I'm out, I'm out of stamina. One of them is up here. Uh, oh, there she is. Um, have I sold you? No, you got plenty of coins-ish. Uh, take my berries, please, and these berries as well. Thank you very much. Everything else stays with me. Uh, wow, we're at 40% friendship with her? We need to do a little bit better than that. Uh, gossip? I know it's the early biggest word. How about gossip? Oh, wow, she's not a gossiper. Never mind. Um, uh, and I know she's not a field worker, so talking to her. There's the magical chickens doing their thing over there. Okay, so we got two guys here. Wow, you got a one in crafting? Oh, wow, that's just terrible. I don't, I don't even want to talk to you about one in crafting. Um, just in case. All right, no, nothing there. Nothing here. Well, okay, we got a little bit of cash coming to Rolnica. There are a few side quests up here right now. I'm not too interested in doing so. Uh, where are you? Inside the house? Apparently. Do I want to do any side quests? No, nah, not really. And, and yeah, I do understand I could hit quick save um, and then take a side quest. If it's something I want to do or don't want to do, then I can reload the game. It's only I only lose one Dynasty reputation by not doing the quest, so it's not that big of a deal. 
But anyways, right now we're going to head on over to Lesnica. It's kind of a ways, but uh, we'll get there. Actually, you know what? Let me put the map back up. I actually want to... Why is that button working? Oh, that's because that button's for a different game to mark the map. There you go. To mark the map that way That way in this game. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, but we're heading over to Lesnica to look for a recurved bow. Uh, that's for Alwyn, pretty much. Uh, I want to see how much they go for, and really, if it's almost as much as what it costs me to make one, uh, I mean, buy the blueprint, then I'll probably just buy the blueprint and make them myself. Because my villagers are probably going to want some now and then. Um, I would like one, and of course, Alwyn would like one. But I'm kind of hoping... Oh, you know what I'm doing while I'm going over there? I got my bow out because I know there's wolves around here. Oh, there's a bison over there. I know someone did try to correct me once and said it's a Y-Scent. Well, if you look up the definition of a Y-Scent, Y-Scent is just a European bison. That's the definition of a Y-Scent. So, yeah, I'm going to call it. Are we okay, dude? Yeah, he's kind of like a passive-aggressive kind of animal. He, he, won't, he won't attack you unless you really uh, tick him off, so he's fine. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's why I call him bison, because I can really pronounce bison well, so that's... <laughs> and every time I see one, I'm just going to call it a bison anyways. Uh, but anyways, let me pick some more berries so I can sell some more, uh, get some more coins. Uh, that's the whole main thing right now. Um, but hopefully, maybe they got a, a recurve bow. At least give me an idea of what they go for and what they cost and all that fun stuff. I'll see you in Lesnica, which is 642 meters to my right. A lot of berry patches from from uh, Rolnica up to Lesnica here. All right, so there are a couple people. Are you one of them? Uh, no, you are one of them. Teobald, uh, show me your wares. What do you have here? Uh, nothing really for me, but since you only got 889 coins, your village looks like they need some berries. I collected 629 berries on the way here, which helps us out with the coins. Yeah, I haven't been here much. I don't feel like talking to you. Um, and it looks like they don't have any guys here whatsoever for hire. Uh, she Is she the hunter, if I remember correctly? No, no come here. Uh, yeah, show me your wares. Uh, recurve bow. 665 for a recurve bow. Um... I mean, uh, hang on a second here. Let me, I think it's 2,000 for the blueprint, right? If I go here, is that under Smithy 2? That's crossbow. Smithy 1? Um, is that under the hunting? Recurve. It's only 1,500 for the blueprint. And it takes two logs, linen thread, and leather. So pretty much if I if I buy two of them, I'm almost what the blueprint costs plus the material it takes to make it. And occasionally, I think my workers may want one of those. Um, how many more points? I don't need many more points before I can make uh, buy the blueprint and make my own. Um, thanks, but I think I'm going to pass on that and I'll save up for that. I don't want to spend my coins on buying the bows for one reason, because I'm hoping to buy some goats today that's why we're going to denica next uh yep picking more berries i should have my knife out for this i think i'm gonna be spending the whole day picking berries and traveling from one city to another or village sorry but after denica yep they'll be back to my village uh hopefully with some uh two young goats one male one female to do what we do in our village for the husbandry kind of stuff and uh hopefully they'll grow up and reproduce but first of all hopefully they got a young goat uh, male and female. I'm just I'm not gonna pick many berries this time because it does take up a lot of time And I'm pretty sure half this day is already shot by me doing this. I want to get back and do the cabbage And get that all squared away so I don't forget All right, peanut uh, stop gathering berries and head on over to Denica All right, how about if you get the map out and mark it so you know how far you got to go There you go straight line B line. See you Denica. I'll probably stop and pick more berries. So I'm trying to take note of other villages. It seems like uh, the game's kind of trying to tell us that fortification around the village is kind of nice, but you don't really need it for your farm area, if that makes any sense. Um, I did collect some berries, so Dagobert, how are you doing, sir? Sure, sure. I almost called him a sure. Um, berries, 248 berries I gathered along the way. 
And sticks and stones, I'm going to keep those. I'm going to keep those. Uh, do you mind, sir? We're making a transaction here. Um, bizarre? Biz whatever his name was. Uh, let's go over here and see what they got for little goats. I see a couple of them. So we have uh, a male goat for 1900 They are expensive. They are expensive. Holy crap, I can only buy one. Uh, so it's 1900 for male or female. Well, let's go ahead and gather a female. I, did I say gather a female? Is that right? Um, okay, added to the building, Goatling. So they do have a male here. I need 1900 coins. Hey, Kinga, how are you doing? Approval of 80. She does have affection, although I don't, you know... Uh, nah, I'm not going to try it. I'm not going to try it um, because I don't want to mess up my 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 kind of marriage. I mean, we shouldn't be able to have any affection towards Kinga because the whole thing with him, her, and Alwyn. And Alwyn's my best friend. I can't do that to him. So I got a female goat. And that leaves me with how much cash on me. So I need another 1500 to buy a male goat. And I need to go in here because I am getting hungry. Really, really hungry. Uh, I'm a little bit dirty. I'm a little bit warm. But what I need to do now is head back to my village, grab my bow, because there are some dangerous animals around here. I should probably do a little bit of hunting. What time is it exactly? It is already 3.30 in the afternoon, so maybe we'll plant cabbage first thing tomorrow morning. won't take much uh, to do that, but hopefully we can sell enough coins, and I'll have to come back here and get a male goat just because uh, we can kind of get some young goats going on in the future. Uh, but right now, let's go ahead and do a little bit of hunting here, because I haven't done this in a while. Headshot. You gotta take your time, because you're stunned. There you are. Are you coming for me, or what are you doing there, sir? Two for the price of one. All right, let's go ahead and clean up these boars. And you know what? Let's try to get the cabbage done today because it won't take me too long to do that. Do I get my two arrows back? I got one arrow back. Did one roll around? I don't think so. Not doing that anymore. All right, I'm going to skin these up, head back to our village. Let's plant some cabbage. Um, hopefully, our villagers also got some limestone taken care of so we can kind of get that village uh, all limed up and all set for winter. I don't have any set plans to build another house anytime soon for more villagers oh wait a minute wait a minute speaking of villagers uh, uh duh when i'm here just to get goats let's go up here and see what they got for any roaming villagers can i call them roaming villagers i do see okay there's three guys here uh crafting of two actually only one of them is an available villager He's got a crafting of two. She's got some good skills over here. Ludomira. Approval of 59. We'll talk to her. I hope she's doing all right. Uh, that's plus five. And how about the noble passing by? She didn't like that. All right. Um, I mean, he's only skill level two, but he is three in farming and a lot of other things. Uh, how old are you? 24? You're roughly the same age as the other villager that we got. Um, tough job working in the field. 10%. Oh, give me that one again. How have you been lately? Early bird gets the worm. Oh, he didn't like that one, though. And, okay, so, yeah, maybe I'll try again tomorrow when I come back with enough coins. Wait, were you here before? All right, so you're not a, you're not a worker. All right, uh, rambled on long enough. Now I'm going to head back to the village. Let's go ahead and replant some, replant, yeah, replant cabbage because that's what we just harvested the first day of summer. Replant some cabbage so my farming will be done. And maybe I'll go around and pick some berries. Uh, I could always sell some pottage. I can make some more pottage. So we got plenty of cabbage and we got plenty of uh, meat, of course. Before we head back to our village, we're over here at the village that's kind of like right next to us. And I think they had, are you available worker? Skill level of one. All right, well, that's that's not really good in crafting. You're good at extraction, but that's not uh, kind of like what we're looking for. All right. So, yeah, not many good choices here at all for anyone that's good at crafting. 
I mean, it is what it is. So, yeah, let's head back and let's go ahead and plant some cabbage. Well, cabbage seed in my hand. Well, there's there's our little sheep. I was going to say one better be female, one's male. And, of course, we got a female goatling now. How's everyone doing over here? They're all they're already back to sleep. What time is it? Animals are sleeping already? I guess. Uh, so, yeah, we got one male piglet. Any new geese? Haven't checked on the geese since yesterday. Nope, nothing there for geese. So let's go on. And like I said, let me grab a simple bag here. And then cabbage. I have 94 seeds on me. So more than enough to go ahead and do this. Only need 64. Because it's an 8 by 8. I don't know if I'm actually saving seeds when I do this. Because I got the skill where it says I save seeds. But I don't. I don't see if that's actually working or not. I guess it doesn't really matter for the amount of seeds that we gather and have. It's not like I'm going to run out. But I guess this could be something I could sell. And that's what I need to do tomorrow. I need to sell to get myself that male goatling. So, goatling? Is that what they call it? A goatling. Hmm. That word does not sound right. But, yeah, get a male in there. Obviously, you need one male, one female to reproduce. So, hopefully, we can uh, sell enough tomorrow morning. I need 1,900 coins. And then after I do that, I really need to start saving up. But it shouldn't be too hard uh, for taxes at the end of the year. Last year, we paid 5,000 to shy of 5,000. But now we got a couple more buildings. And, of course, we're upgrading buildings. So my taxes might be like 5,500 to 6,000. Ouchie, ouchie. Uh, that's a lot. But I think we can go ahead and afford that. But what I really need to do is hopefully tomorrow when we head back to Denica is get that that guy uh, above 70 percent so we can come work in the sewing room to get someone working in there so we can you know i forgot kind of what we're crafting in there uh simple bags i know is one uh i think fur boots is something else we can we're crafting in there i mean that's stuff i could do as well but you know i should have workers doing that someone's got to be in there working so what did I get done today? Because it's it's nighttime already. Well, we got this field. This field will be done. And we found that the uh, recurve bow sells for like 670 or whatever the heck it was. And hopefully our hunting skill levels go up. I know our hunters are out there doing what they can do to get our levels up. So one, we can unlock the hunting lodge number two. I think it's hunting lodge number two that we're next. And that'll allow me to buy the blueprint for 1500 which I'd rather do that. Um, and of course we got a goatling and we sold a whole bunch of berries and whatnot to afford the goatlings. All right, so I'm going to finish planting this cabbage. Um, I may make some pottage tonight so I can sell it tomorrow, make a whole bunch of cash so we can get said goatling. I'll see you in the morning. Been up here in Denica for quite a while this morning. I've already talked to Barnum and I've already talked to... Uh, little Mira had no luck with him whatsoever. Made one one bad comment and uh, lost five percent on him. So he won't be joining us today either. So as you can see, I'm also overweight. I got a lot of material on me. Do I have enough to get enough coin to buy a male goatling? If not, there are berries around. I don't know how much more money these people have up here. So it might be oh, he's got 880 coins. Let's go ahead and sell. I got some straw on me. Uh, I picked up some straw on the way here. Uh, let's go ahead and sell the pot as much as I can. All right, so he's broke. That gets me 1300 Got to go now. Where is your wife? Hopefully your wife is... Where did she go? Um, she's already down here at work, apparently. It's not you out here, is it? It is. You're sitting outside this morning. Hello, show me your wares, which basically means um, you got enough cash on you. You do. Let's go ahead and sell that. 2,006 is my coins, what I got left. Did I actually sell all of my, uh, my pottage? Apparently I did, but it doesn't matter. I got enough coin. Uh, I'm getting turned around in this village. Need to go over here. And make sure I buy a male goat. There we go. 1,900. Let's go ahead and buy that. And you go in here perfectly. Leaves me with 106 coin. That is fine. That is fine. So we got our goat situated. So now I need, like I said, focus on just gathering up coins for the rest of the year. 6,000 is what I need to get. 
Um, but I would like to get someone into the sewing room. Uh, I think since I'm not that far, I don't have much planned for today other than get my bow out because there's going to be a boar here. If not one, uh, actually two of them. And a wolf. Um, I see the wolf and he's coming for me. Okay, not too bad. I thought it was two boars and it was a wolf. Uh, let's go ahead and take care of the boar. Uh oh. Alright. Um, is he coming for me? No. Uh, you will be in a second. Oh, I missed. There we go. Two down. Try to get up those hunting skills. Doesn't matter though. I can't afford to buy the blueprint now for the recurve bow. But I'm pretty sure I could come up with enough cash. If I needed to right away. Not that I need to, but I would like to upgrade my bow. The compound bow I did in series one, yeah, I didn't like that bow too much. Plus you gotta make uh, bolts instead of arrows. Not that big of a deal. All right, so I don't know where that boar went. My iron arrow is down here somewhere. I'm not gonna bother gathering berries. I've done enough of that. There's my arrow. Let's go ahead and grab that. All right, um, on to Gostovia. Better keep my bow out just in case there's a wolf around. Head over to Gostovia, see what they got for workers there. Then, of course, I can go over to Baruru, then Baranica, then Branica, and back to my village. Uh, gather up some limestone that my workers have gathered. Hopefully finishing insulating that last house I got to do. And maybe, just maybe, if I get enough time left today, if I get around the, the map well enough. Um, maybe, you know, tear down Smithy Building number two and... Or it's actually smithy building number one and put up smithy building number two because I can get two workers in there as well at some point. Um, but first, I got to find another male worker that wants to come live in my village and do some sewing. Hello, Gostovia. Any good workers here looking for some wonderful work? Um, oh, hello, sir. You got a lot of threes on you. How are you doing? How are you, sir? Uh, 26 years old, approval of 48. So I've talked to him before. I didn't do a good job. Uh, got into hunting. Any good tips? All right, so that's plus five. Do you have a minute? Nice weather we're having today. Uh, let's say weather. All right, so weather and hunting is plus five. Um, how have you been lately? Do I want to try that right now or go for the plus five? Uh, the thing is, let's try how he's been lately. All right, so that didn't work out too well. And all right, that's right, we're done with him. All right, so he's a level two. I mean, yeah, yeah. approval of 50. Haven't talked to him before either. Uh, early bird gets the worm. Yeah, he's so-so on that. Uh, amazing robes on the noble passing by. How's that go? Now it's minus two. And all right, enough for talking to you. We'll, we'll go ahead and talk to you just because. Diplomacy and all that. Uh Tough job working the field. Minus two. I'm not doing so good. All right. My diplomacy skills are, seem to really, really, really suck. That's all I got to say. Um, he is a good candidate. I mean, he's got a lot of... He's mostly threes on him. Uh, other than farming and diplomacy. Diplomacy on NPCs, I don't know where it's going to come into play. Other than maybe in the future. Where we can put workers into storage buildings. And maybe other NPCs come to your village and they barter with them back and forth. Maybe that'll be a thing in the future. I have no idea. Um, but other than that, I don't know what diplomacy on NPCs do for us. All right, let's head across the river over here to Boru and see what kind of villagers they got here. I don't want to say it's been a while since I've been here. But I'm going to say it's been early spring, maybe. Something like that. These are the times I wish I probably did have a horse, although I don't know if a horse would, you know, run out of stamina as much as I do. If they run out of stamina at all. A lot of people roaming around up here, so... The people up in Baru seem to be laid back. They all kind of sit by the campfire. Look at all the people here. Um... Alright, so one male candidate for jobs... Appears so. And what was your skill level? A two. Have I talked to you before? Oh, he's already at 70%. Um, okay, wait. What was your other skill levels? I mean... Uh -huh. 
All right. Well, uh, yeah. Um, you know what? Uh, yeah, you just you just get right to to work there, sir. You know, probably not the best, but it's a level two. I mean, I, I shouldn't you know complain too much about it, but it's level two. All right, let's go ahead and get you in a house. And yep, you need to go live there. Sign a workplace. Sewing room is where you're going. A sign worker. You're a seamster. And yeah, let me just. I gotta refresh my memory what we're doing in the sewing room. All right, so linen thread, a uh, simple bag, fur boots, water skin is paws. I'm not doing anything on that one at all. So yeah, I, I kind of goofed up last episode. I was like, what's flax stock for? And I was like, yeah, afterwards, like, um, hello, stupid. That's to make linen thread. Uh, so with that all set, I have nothing to sell. No more room for villagers in my village. So I need to beat feet back to my village. Uh, I got to start thinking about making some coin. Uh, maybe upgrading some of the buildings that we have. But I'm not going to do it during the work day. Well, I guess I, you know, if I'm not going to build them in the exact same spot, I can rebuild, I can build the new vill uh, the new building, leave the old one up, and then move the workers around overnight before the next day, then tear down the other building. I could do that. All right, let's head back to our village. I'm not going to gather no berries or anything along the way. Hmm, wait, should I gather some trees along the way? Of course, why should I take, take logs from my inventory when I go and pass a lot of beautiful oak trees? All right, I'm going to stack up on some uh, logs when we get back. I can either put it in our inventory or build some new buildings. And building new buildings will help because I'll unlock other things as we go along. Someone is fat and it's me. I got too many logs on me right now. But yeah, I'm thinking while we're here... And I got so many logs on me. Yeah, we're going to put down the smithy building right here. How about that? Uh, that's going to be under resources, storage. Nope, wrong buildings. Uh, crafting, there we go. Uh, smithy building number two, eight logs. Should be facing me. Where's this pathway? I'm going to put it like right next to this birch tree over here. How about that? Give it a little bit of shade. Uh, do I have a hammer on me? I do. All right, and of course you're going to take some some logs and planks. Hopefully not a whole lot of planks. All right, so that's all the logs that you require. Uh, actually, I probably should keep the logs on me that I have. And we'll zoom on over here. Let's go ahead and make some planks. Put the hammer away. And I can make 10 planks right now, which is fine. And on the way back, I'll stop at the storage building, grab any extra stone that I have, and start getting that building complete. Yeah, I'll make my taxes go up, but eventually... I can get a second worker into the smithy, and we can double our production in the smithy building. Which is like a lot of our tools that we're going to need. I know I said I don't plan on building any other houses, but that's that's going to be false, really, because I haven't got to the mine yet. We're approaching getting cl close to the mine, so we need a mine worker. Once uh, our mothers start being stop uh, taking care of the children for a while, then I can put them back to work eventually. I should have two goats running around, correct? Uh, there's one. There's the male. We just buy him today, and the female should be around here somewhere. somewhere <laughs> uh they're all hiding in here pretty much yeah okay they all like go visiting other p others animals pens interesting all right so we should start getting some milk at some point as well i'm um, going past the storage building so yeah the milk is do i really need, need the milk not so much i'm just kind of doing it trying to get free buckets out of it that's all i'm really doing Okay, I can get I can gather thirty ish kilograms of stone. We probably got a lot of stone in here. I know I cut back on the amount of stone that we were gathering. I may have to change some of this up. So by moving the smithy building over a little bit, it'll give me more room in here. That's the sewing room. 
which I can also make an upgraded version of. I'll tell you what, those, those uh, wooden buildings don't deteriorate, of course, as much as the stick ones do. I haven't had to repair any of those yet, and I, I imagine the stone ones hardly deteriorate at all. So that's all I needed for stone. All right. A lot of planks, though. This requires too many planks. All right, so I need two and 12, so I need 14. 14 planks. Do we have 14 planks is the question. We're about to find out. Do we have 14 planks? Let me go in here and let's get rid of some of this weight that I have. Okay, let's go down here to planks. Actually, we got 60 planks. Holy, yeah. Uh, I forgot what I said I needed for planks. We'll just grab 16 of them. I don't mind having that many planks because I'm, I'm going to build more houses. And we know each house needs, what, 70, 72 planks. That's a lot. And then when we unlock the big house, which is going to be for me and my wife and my family. Uh, I forgot how many planks that needs. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Always out of stamina. Because I run everywhere. There we go. Now we got the upgraded smithy building. It's not... I don't think it's any different other than it's made out of stone. And it won't deteriorate as fast as this one does. Alright. Um, let me put the hammer away. So if I go to management and we go down to buildings. Okay, so smithy one, I paid 90 tax on it. I basically doubled how much I got to pay in tax on it, but I can double the production out of it. Uh, but the one thing I want to do when I come in here is what am I actually making? So iron axe, hammer, hoe, pickaxe, and scythe. So basically the things I use all the time. So everything's at 25% except for the scythe is at 15 and the hoe is at 10. So farming equipment is at 15 and 10. Uh, the reason why I'm trying to figure this all out because I'll need to come in here. All right, so stone hoe, no iron axe. I want it 25. Hammer, I want it 25. Iron hoe. Pickaxe, 25. And scythe is the rest. Okay. Now back into management once again. Um. I forgot who's working in there, so I'll have to do it this way. Uh, Dalmir. Let's remove Dalmir. And go into Smithy 2. Assign worker. Uh, Dalmir. You can go in there as a craftsman. Perfect. And he's like, all right. Now he's coming over here. He's like, oh, dude, upgrade a building. How about that? All right, hammer, destroy. All right, let's go ahead and... Yep. Too bad I don't get no planks back for that, but whatever. Just be careful what I'm demolishing. I don't want to accidentally hit something else because some of these buildings are close to one another. There we go. Uh, this pathway. Don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So there's no upgraded yet for extraction building, which seems kind of odd. Uh, the smithy, bu uh, smithy building, sewing room. Uh, do I really need to upgrade that? Probably. But not the current stage right now. Let's go here. And of course, we want pathways. Come on, turn green. There we go. And out to here. How far can I go? Perfect. Everything's looking good. Yeah, you go to town, dude. You go to town. All right, let's go to the storage room and gather up some limestone. It's been about a day and a half, so I assume we're going to have a good amount of it. And we got one more house to finish insulating. I, well, while I'm in here, I probably should double triple check on a couple things. Firewood. I still got 70 firewood. Uh, logs, 47. Uh, not too bad. Uh, limestone. Do I need that much limestone? I'm going to carry... Yeah, I can carry that much. It's kind of on the heavy side. 
And the one thing I kind of forgot to check on, but I didn't have the coins for it anyways, is upgrading my backpack, which will allow me to carry 10 more kilograms worth of weight. Let's go ahead and do upgrade. Come on, upgrade, right? I think so. There we go. So it's coming together. I think I can build another house right there. I know I said a little while ago, I'm not going to build any more houses. I'd like to squeeze one in there, but that looks like it's going to be kind of crowded. I like having the space in between the, the houses a little bit. But yeah, I'm going, to need, I'm going to need a worker for a mine and another one for, well, in the smithy, like I said, to double the production. I'm not in a dire need of getting someone else in the smithy right now because until I get the mine up and running, if I double the production in the smithy, that just means they're going to go through the iron ore quicker. And that means a lot of gathering for me. Uh, just insulating your house. Um, I don't know who you're, who's in there. Zagamunta? Could be Zagamunta. Her mood will go up. As for, oops, as for my hammer, my hammer's done. Um, but as for doing any quests for the king, I'm not going to do any more on that. I don't know if I don't go see the Herald, if I don't accept a quest, does that affect anything? Um, from what, like, you know, people were saying, the reason why the mood is down the village, because he's a dangerous king, because he has a name dangerous in him. So, yeah, I don't want to help out the king anymore if the mood of my village is going to go down and down and down. I mean, it's great that I got 10% uh, saving on taxes. But the mood of the village goes down. That 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 hurts everything. Looks like I got enough limestone. Did I get the peak in this corner here? No, I did not. I have enough though, right? Yep, wait for my stamina to get all the way up. There, all the houses are insulated, which means less firewood needed for them. So we are good there. How is the mood in the village overall? Management. Uh, my wife's mood is at 78%. 78%. The mood is going up everywhere. Perfect. Just perfect. And we got a lot of kids along the way. Um, our two new workers. Yep, she's at 34%. Um, maybe once he moves in. Yeah, so they're about the same age, so that should work out for them, which means that she can get pregnant in like a year or so. I mean, if it happens, it happens. Not a big deal. We, we can manage. Uh, the thing is, can I squeeze another house in here? I think I can, but I don't know. If, I think it's going to look too cluttered. Um, I don't have the logs on me to see what it... Don't, that's the wrong button. Yeah, it won't let me see a ghost image to see how much it is. I have to grab some logs for that. But all the houses are insulated. We got firewood going. All the workers are doing what they, they need to be doing. I do want to go into food storage to see if we got any milk yet. I don't know how fast the milk is going to be produced. Uh, buckets of milk. Actually, I got a full bucket of milk already. And it does sell for quite a bit. Now, the one thing I don't know is if I, if I sell the bucket of milk, do I sell the bucket with it? With it. If I just sell the milk and I get the bucket back, that's great. But, mm-hmm. Uh, Food-wise, you can see we're doing rather good. I need to probably take... What's the weight doing? We're fine. At some point, I need to take the mushrooms out of here, put them in the regular storage so, so they rot, and I can go ahead and take care of that. Ooh, speaking of... So, tomorrow is fall. Um, is the wheat grain in here? Wheat is... I plant wheat in the fall, correct? Where is the wheat grain? Okay, it's not in here. That's fine. Uh, fertilizer. At first, I looked over quickly. I got 623 fertilizer. No, you got 28. Uh, manure. Scroll on down to manure. 132. So that's, that, that might do us well. Uh, is it two manure? Yeah, so that's like 66. All right, 66 plus what we got. Uh, but that field's going to require something like 200. So I'm going to be short on manure. No, 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 no. That's wheat. That's an 8 by 8 So that's 64. So I got plenty of fertilizer to get the wheat field done. Where is the wheat? It's going to be in the food storage. Uh, wheat grain. Uh, is it, yeah, sown in autumn, harvested in summer. 
I can also plant it in the spring, so I gotta remember that. Um, it may be time to make another field to get some more wheat grain, but I could sell the wheat grain. I still got more wheat to thrash. Same thing with pottage and everything else. Uh, not pottage, yeah, pottage, yeah. Going to thrash pottage. That's really great. Um, yeah, the flax. So how are we doing on technology? So we're at 4,000 for building. Another 10,000, or excuse me, another 1,000, and we'll be able to get go ahead and get the mine up and running. Uh, the hunting, uh, hunting lodge number two, um, it, it, it will unlock the stone pike, the recurve bow. So in the fall, after getting the wheat field done, we may go ahead and focus on hunting a little bit so we can at least get the recurve bow done and start making some of those. Uh, farming, yeah, we just barely, actually we're going up pretty good in farming. The next thing is a cow shed. I don't think we'll be doing the cow shed. Um, I mean, the, the one thing you could do the cow shed for is reproduction of cows and sell cows, sell animals. Uh, but I, I, obviously we're working towards a stable at some point. But I think I'm done with husbandry work. I don't think I want to do the cow shed. Uh, yeah, just because money for upstart. Food storage building number three would be nice uh, to get to. Um, here, we're just the only thing we got left to unlock is tavern number three. But of course, I could buy some blueprints if I wanted to. But uh, what was I just looking at here? Uh, no, barn. Yeah, barn. I haven't built barn number two yet. So I could get some crafting skills, not crafting, but building skills by tearing down the barn and building barn number two. But that's going to mean logs and planks. Hmm. So it's either, you know, tear down the barn and rebuild barn number two. But I think, honestly, I'm going to keep barn number one for a while. Lower taxes. And I don't think barn number two adds anything extra that I can do here at all. I think I'm, I'm more likely probably going to build another house. Uh, so I can prep for a mine worker and someone also to go into the smithy as well. And also prepare just in case someone else becomes pregnant. Because around here, yeah, there's something in the water. There's mothers coming up around everywhere. So, yeah, we got two goats, two sheep. I mean, really, I probably should get like another female sheep, another female goat. But I think they'll reproduce at some point. Uh, the geese, yeah, uh, I don't think it's going to be long before we start getting some uh, gooselings around. And as for the pigs, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We'll have to wait until we get a fifth pig. And then I'll probably wait a while until they're all mature and start, uh, we'll sell off, depending on what we got a lot of. Um, definitely need one adult male. So the one hog that we got, uh, he may be sold and let this little young guy at some point grow up. Now, uh, the age of the animals, yeah, they can grow up to be like 10, uh, 10 to 20 years old, depending on the species of animals that we're talking about. So they can last, like, they live a long time. I shouldn't say last, they live a long time. So it's not like two or three years I need to think about uh, selling them here and there. But our husbandry area is coming along nicely. I do like to have them in the bushes here, but when, they, when I come out trying looking for them, uh, they can hide in the bushes, you know. Uh, bushes are good for the animals, I think. Uh, if they want a little bit of shade or something. I would love at some point if we could plant trees. That'd be awesome if I could plant like a tree in here. Just to give them a whole bunch of shade and we can put trees where we want. But I'm not sure it's going to come to the game at all. Um, I don't know if they talked about it or not. But at some point, I would like to start decorating around here. Oh, yeah. Where was the... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, all those words I just said. Uh, where was it? that once I unlock it was a smithy building it's for no I think it's it's on the mine lanterns lanterns yes that's gonna I really would like to get up to, to the mine for many reasons one build a mine so we can get some iron ore I don't have to go gather it myself but I want to get some lanterns around here and of course start building the stone fence uh, the lantern is what logs leather sticks and wool thread well we got the sheep now speaking of I mean, wool thread is expensive, but how are we doing? Do we got any wool around here? 14, so it is gathering up. And storage, okay, we're doing fine there. A whole bunch of things I'm keeping track of. So when fall comes, which is next episode, um, yep, we'll be planting the wheat over in the wheat field so we can harvest that in the spring. This cabbage will be ready, so our farming skills are going to go up. Uh, that field, yeah, that's going to that's gonna remain barren until next spring. And... Um, yeah, so first day of fall, like I said, plant the wheat, harvest the cabbage, and maybe build another house. I don't know if I can sneak it. I mean, I think I can sneak it in there. I just don't know if I'm going to like the looks of it being that snug. And 
then it becomes, if I don't like the way it looks in there, it kind of ruins my plan for building around here, in a way. I mean, do I got room to put one here? I think it'll look kind of odd back there. I may actually have room... Yeah, see, I left a lot of space in between here, because I thought I was going to have enough workers per house. See, I left a lot of space. I could put a house down here and get rid of all these oak trees. Hmm. I think first thing first, I'm going to try to build over in that corner, see how it looks. It's going to cost me like eight logs to place it on down. But we'll see how it looks. But anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you next time right here in Medieval Dynasty. But until then, have a good one.